Hello? Um, Ms. Elsa Kravitz here. She wants minutes, to speak please. to the Herr Director. He wants you. that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. Who says that? Everyone. My name is Regina Perlman, not Elsa Krause. I've been living in Krakow on false papers since the ghetto massacre. My parents are in Brasov. Their names are Hanna and Jakob Perlman. They are older people. They are killing older people now in Brasov. They bury them up in the forest. Look, I don't have any money. I, I borrowed these clothes. I'm begging you, please, please bring them here. I don't do that. You've been misled. I ask one thing, whether or not a worker has certain skills. That's what I ask, and that's what I care about. My father is an importer, not a metal worker. Such he activities are illegal. To get forced you will not entrap me, Miss Strasser. Cry, and I will have you arrested. I swear to God. People die. It's a fact of life. He wants to kill everybody? Great. What am I supposed to do about it? Bring everybody over? Is that what you think? Send them over to Schindler. Send them all. His place is a haven, didn't you know? It's not a factory. It's not an enterprise of any kind. It's a haven for rabbis and orphans and people with no skills whatsoever. You think I don't know what you're doing? You're so quiet all the time. I know, I know. Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. That's not the point. Is it's it? dangerous. It's dangerous to me. You have to understand, Gert is under enormous pressure. You have to think of it in his situation. He's got this whole place to run. He's responsible for everything that goes on here. All these people, he's got a lot of things to worry about. And he's got the war, which brings out the worst in people. Never the good, always the bad. Always the bad. But in normal circumstances, he wouldn't be like this. He'd be all right. There'd just be the good aspects of him, which <laughs> is a wonderful crook. A man who loves good food, good wine, the ladies making money. Killing. He can't enjoy it. Bayevsky told me the other day somebody escaped from a work detail outside the wire. Gert lined up everybody from the missing man's barracks. He shot the man to the left of Bayevsky, the man to the right of him. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. Twenty-five. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing, nothing. It's just talking.
Perlman. Perlman! Husband and wife. Jacob and Hannah Perlman! Goldberg, bring them over. 